Well, good morning. Welcome to Montana Haven. Uh, today, we're once again on the road. We're driving about uh, two and a half hours to our next job that we're doing. We, If you've been following us, you've noticed that we wrapped one up on Flathead Lake that was a pretty good sized home with an attached garage. If you haven't, go back and watch it. I actually did three episodes on that. Uh, but today we're doing a smaller home. I've got Justin and Ethan along as well. It's a beautiful morning. It's really cold this morning. When we left uh, the at home, it was three degrees. Now it's warmed up to about 10. But it's gonna be chilly, but we're setting logs today. And uh, we've gotta put the set the logs, put the roof on, and install the windows and doors. So uh, it's gonna take us, I'm thinking about five or six days. So we're working, today's Wednesday. We'll work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday go home for the weekend and then come back Monday, Tuesday, and probably Wednesday and finish it up. So should be a good job. We're looking forward to it. So enjoy it. Here we go. job site six below zero but thankfully it's supposed to warm up a little bit first thing we got to do get this snow off the deck right here we had the guys come uh, last week and put the subfloor on so now we just got to set the logs All right, what you're looking at is we got row one down in this freezing weather. I set my water bottle down a little while ago and it's like a block of ice already, but we're making it work. It's 3.30 and we're working on row nine. I got the boys out here hooking the logs. Got to use a weed burner because there's ice on the logs on some of these ends and stuff. They're putting on foam gasket. I'll take your eyebrows off. Okie dokie, well there's the house. We got everything up through row 11 done tonight, so we're heading out of here hungry for dinner. All right, driving up to the job site this morning. I'm surprised how dark it is in 7.30. So the crane guy will be here shortly. We'll get it fired up and get going. Hopefully we can get this thing wrapped up by early afternoon. Get all the snow off the logs here. Heavenly Father, we just bless you this morning. We thank you, Lord, for each of our uh, guys here. Thank you for the boys. These boys over here, we bless you, Lord. And we just pray for favor over us today as we work. Pray for safety on the job. Lord, we pray for uh, that this house would be a blessing to the people we're building it for. 
We're putting the gables in now. We got one in and we're lifting up the other one in place. We put it together on the ground and we lift it all up in one big piece. Makes it easy that way. Okay, so it's lunchtime and that's the last purlin that we're putting in over on this part. And then we still have to do a rafter up front. That'll take about two hours probably and then we should be wrapped up with the logs and we gotta start on the roof. Right in the notch. Oh, we're struggling a little bit on that side. Need some gentle persuasion. There we go. Perfect. Final log coming in right there. Last one. It's going to go right here for what we call the pork shedder. Longest log in the house, probably about 40 feet long. It's the end of day two, and we got all the logs set now, and we're just knocking off, getting done uh, for the day. We got this tongue and groove on over here about mm, just a little over half of one side, and we're going to call it a night. It's lunchtime, and there's what we got done so far. Uh, we've got uh, all the tongue and groove on on the other side. We're almost done on this side, and we got our, some of our rafters up on the, the porch there. So it's going good. This Friday, we started a Wednesday morning, so this is two and a half days later. This is really fun because this small cabin is almost like playing compared to the last job we did. And that was a really, really big uh, house. If you haven't watched that, go and watch that. I did three episodes on that one. And it's just a few videos before this one in order. So if you click on videos and then you can go down the line, you'll see uh, those videos that I posted. So hope you're enjoying this. And uh, it's a lot warmer today. It's like 25 degrees. So that was really nice. So we're going to have some lunch, work a few more hours till close to dark and call it a week. Well, there you have it. That's three days of work with three teenagers and one person age 60 and then a 20-year-old and myself. So, got a lot done. It's looking good. Thankful it's Friday and we're heading home for the weekend. So, we'll be back Monday to finish it out.
Well, we're cutting out the windows here. We got our first window pretty much cut out. That's Matthew's first window, actually. He's doing a good job there. And uh, we got the electricians here. They're running some wires. We got this. Uh, some of these windows cut out here. Let's go outside and see what the boys are doing. Oh yeah, we got those. As you saw, we got these filled in right here. They're putting all these screws in the deck. It's a lot of screws. At least I think that's what they're doing. At least I think you're putting in screws. Okay, let's race. Okay, ready? Three. On your mark. Three. No, 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 okay. Yeah. You, how many do you do? Ten. Uh, thirteen, thirteen. Three, you have to count. They're racing. Okay, go. <laughs> So tomorrow, we're going to uh, get the roof all spray foamed and maybe even covered. We got all our rim on and all our BCIs up there. TGIs, tongue and groove I-beams. The electrician's running his can lights. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful evening. Pretty windy this afternoon, but it's nice. You can see all these windows are beveled back well of course everything is going to get sanded and made to look pretty but that's how we get them done all right we're going to call it a day and uh, come back in the morning what a beautiful sunrise look at that we're driving up to the job site and we got to go through this gate and under these power lines but that sunrise is just absolutely magnificent so beautiful glorious day well, what a pretty cloud right above the cabin here. Our goal today is we're going to finish screwing the deck floor. And we're going to put fascia up here along this uh, rim right here, all the way around the cabin. Uh, we're going to work on cutting our windows out. And we're going to finish the electrical up on top and get the spray foam in. We've got Matthew and Justin helping with the fascia here. It's good with fascia.
Okay, we are going to try to wrap it up this morning. The foam guys left last night, and the first thing we got to do is get up there and get the roof on. So we got to put OSB up there, and then uh, we're going to put uh, roof underlayment on it, ice and water shield, and a product called titanium. So that's what we're working at this morning, get that wrapped up, and then uh, work on some inside stuff, finish the window bucks, which is basically the sub bucks, the frame of the window, so we can attach the window to them when they come in. So a few of those things, get the log railing on, and we'll see how, how far we get today, and hopefully we can get everything wrapped up. That's our goal. It's 11 o'clock and we got it done. Now we're ready to start on the inside. Got the boys putting in this railing right here. Got all the window bucks in now. Working on the doors. Okay, it's pushing six o'clock, and this is what is today? Wednesday. Yeah. So we we've got uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, six days in this cabin. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Six days, and uh, this is the crew that did it mainly. We had last week. We had a couple other guys helping, but uh, this is Matthew. Matthew's amazing. He's a right-hand man. He's really awesome. And of course, you know Justin and Ethan, and this is my nephew Jethro. And uh, the guys did really, really good. Let me just uh, take you inside and show you a quick once around because uh, it turned out really, really nice. All right, let's take a look at this front here. You can see the log railing that's going around here. And this model is actually called the Green River Rancher. And I believe it's 24 feet by, I'll have to check. I think it's 32 feet. Yeah, 24 by 32, I believe. But this is just a really nice little uh, little cabin. So let's go inside and check it out. These these uh, openings here are now all ready for the windows. And you've got a half arch in here with a vaulted ceiling. And again, it's not huge, but it's a nice little uh, getaway cabin. It's about 768 square feet, I believe. The kitchen will be going along this wall. This is gonna be the kitchen window. And of course the entry door right there. And I'm not, I think they have a bathroom going in right here and then a master bedroom in this side right here. And then of course, uh, kitchen right here and then a little uh, dining and living room over here. So there you have it, a lot of work. The guys did awesome and so excited to be done. Excited to head home. And um, done with the project. So let's look outside for just a minute. This will be the side you see when you pull up. And he's got, it's on a crawl space. So a couple items when we come back, we're gonna have to put the windows in, the doors in, and we, ran short of our uh, fascia for the bottom there. So we're gonna have to finish that there along the porch. But I just love how the railing looks along the, the two sides. It makes it look so good. And of course this floor here is all rough cut lumber from our mill. So we cut this stuff right here. It's a full two inch by eight inch material. But there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one. God bless you and thanks for subscribing and watching all our videos. We really appreciate it. So we'll see you on the next one. God bless. Bye. And as we're heading out of the job site, God painted the sky for us.